All right, so with the hip flexor kickouts, these don't look like much, but they are a really, really, really difficult exercise if done correctly, okay? So they're kind of just like a load of karate kicks. All right, but the most important thing is we wanna keep our hip quite isolated and our leg quite isolated throughout the movement. So that basically means the other leg that we're standing on during the movement needs to be dead, dead straight. We wanna maintain nice upright posture, okay? We wanna hold on to something for balance. And then with the other hand, we wanna make sure that there's tension in the rest of the body. And we kinda of wanna solidify the rest of the body so it doesn't compensate and try to help out our body complete the movement. Okay, so the first one is a, it's a forward kick, all right? And the first thing we're gonna do is just simply pick up the knee as high as we can, all right? And you'll feel that deep inside the hip flexors, okay? Without leaning back, so staying nice and tall, taking in a breath, all right? And then with some tension, kick out as, as far as you can. If you can't get the leg straight, that's okay. All right, if you can straighten the leg, great. If the knee drops, that's okay as well. When you pull back, you really wanna focus on pulling back with the deep muscle inside your hip flexor here. All right, so with that as well, you can mix up the foot positions. Okay, so you're gonna kick out tension and then pull in using the hip flexor, driving the heel. So we look like we're in the bottom of a squat there. Okay, so that's the first position. So for the second kick, all right, we're now gonna just open up our hip. So we're gonna go through the sequence the same as before, pick the knee up first, pull it up as high as you can, keep the heel tucked in. You're now gonna open the hip up without rotating the torso or the rest of the pelvis. Okay, so just opening up this hip by itself, keeping the opposite leg straight, staying as tall as we can, creating some tension in the opposite arm, pulling the knee up as high as possible, and then kicking out with much tension as possible and then pulling back in with all these tissues deep in the hip flexors. And again, good. So from side on, you'll be able to see fully open, picking up as high as possible, tension in the rest of the system and kick out. And again, you can switch up the different foot positions that you want to choose. Okay, the third position, all right, is just continuing the, the, the motion. So we're gonna pick up first, we're gonna open out, and then from there, we're going to rotate the hip and rotate the knee. And from here, we just wanna make sure that there's good height and the, the, the height of the foot is the same as the knee. And I try not to rotate, uh, sorry, lean down with the rest of the body. So if I just do this from side on, I stay nice and tall, I can create tension. I then rotate, keep the heel pulled in to start off with. And then from there, kick out with all these tissues coming around the hip now and then pull back in, okay? Now, if you find that that's, too, you know, if you're pulling up too high and you're leaning away, all right, then don't worry about that. You can just take the knee down a little bit lower, all right, and into a manage manageable uh, position. We shouldn't be in any pain all right, obviously any joint pain. All right, the muscles and the tissues will be working a little bit and might be a bit painful as we do it. Okay, so that's the third movement. All right, and the last movement is what we call into hip extension. All right, so very, very simply, we're gonna start by picking the knee up, okay? And tucking the, he the heel into the bum. Now you might feel like the hamstring comes alive a little bit when you do that. All right, and from there, you're going to just take the hip back as far as it will go with staying nice and tall. So if you find that you're breaking at the back, the low back and hitching back and arching your lower back, all right, then you've lost that position. So we've got to make sure that we stay stacked on top of each other, all right? And that also might just be because people are sometimes just generally a little bit stiffer in the hip flexors. So doing some hip flexor mobility may help with this. All right, so if we take you into that starting position, other leg straight, nice, tall, take the knee as far back as we can go, and then we're going to kick back behind us, utilize the glute, really switch it on with tension, and then pull the heel back, pull it really, really hard, that hamstring will come alive. And then again, you're trying to imagine, like there's a little hand here, you do not want the knee to come and touch the hand. So keep the knee as far back as you can without losing the low back. All right, so kicking out. All right, that one seems like it doesn't look like much, but trust me, if you're doing it correctly, and if you're doing it right, you will feel lots going on with the hamstring, 
with the glutes. All right, and this does a great job of building up strength in the hip flexors and the surrounding muscles of the knee and generally strengthening the knee as well. Great job, give it a try and leave a comment down below and let me know how you get on.